Hi everybody, this is Sonia from Logalot.com coming at you again with another how-to tip. Today I'm actually going to show you how to create a welcome page for your Facebook fan page. And I'm going to show you exactly what one looks like. I'm going to go to Sits Girls and they have a very nice Facebook fan page. But I'm going to show you what their welcome page looks like. So here it is. And what this does is it really creates a good uh, call to action and it welcomes people to understand who they are, um, you know, and other things that they want you to do um, if you want to get featured, identify yourself, and so forth. But it's, it's designed very well and either you can have something professionally done, but today we're going to actually use your own work. So if you have a welcome page, a start here on your own website, and you want to actually create something um, that really kind of tells people a little bit more about you and what they'll actually be learning from your Facebook fan page this is a great tool so from here I'm gonna show you how to actually post one of your own pages so if you don't have anything professionally designed you could actually use whatever on your own website so I'm just gonna pick something random from my website I'm gonna actually use this um, post from uh, my good friend Jivan and post it on my welcome page so that way when people come on there they can actually see this so if you want to grab something from your own website this is a great tool alright so from here I've already grabbed I already know what I'm going to use so I'm all set up and ready to go the tool that I'm going to be using for this is Lejour. the first app for this particular company is free anything past that is a cost so if you can't afford it just use it for the one app and you're good to go once you sign up it's really easy and quick it's going to bring you to this first page and it's going to ask you what fan page you want to use it for. So I'm going to use it for logalot.com. Once I've clicked that, then I click next. From here, I'm going to name it and then click next again. Okay, from here, now you're done. So now you want to customize your app and it's going to bring you to this page. So they have different templates that you can use. Um, I, you don't need to use this, just click custom blank, click apply and then just click next. The next page is going to bring you to is now you're able to really start customizing it. And I actually learned this really cool tip from Amy Potterfield and I could not wait to pass this on to you guys. So you guys are going to love this. It's very easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click this up and down arrow and just to any size you don't know um, just click 10,000. doesn't matter. And then just click adjust. From here you want to start scrolling through your options and look for um, iframe or, or just IF. And here it is. And you want to drag it right here. So this is where I'm going to be able to go and grab the link from my website. So here it is right here. I'm going to grab Jivon's post and I'm going to use this as my welcome page. And then you come back, copy paste it. I don't click anything here so the display scroll bars, add cover image, I leave those blank and just click apply. So just let it do its thing. What it's going to do is it's going to grab your page and it's going to put it in here and you'll see it. So if you've got a lot of images and, and your web page loads slow as it is, try to find something or at least set up your page so that way when people get on there it loads very quickly and it doesn't take this long as a process as well. Now on my home page I just want to grab from here all the way down to the bottom just of Jivon's post. Anything on my sidebar I don't need, let alone my header. So I'm going to show you how you can cover that up. So we're coming back here, so now I can actually start to open it up. And every time you drag and open it, it's going to load. So just give it some time. And you can move it around and, you know, kind of play around with it. But now I've kind of got the frame of it and I just start going down. And like I said, you can create something that short and sweet. Now you see some of the sidebar is going to start to come up so you can just drag it in like so. That way it actually, you know, moves it out. And just keep going down until you are actually finished. So this is going to take a few seconds so just bear with me and you can see my sidebar is starting to show but I'm going to fix that I just want to get all of this on here almost done
and you just keep scrolling down until you're actually finished. Now where I stop is where the opt-in button is. Basically my opt-in is where people can sign up and I can build my list. Um, you can use that for newsletters or whatnot. But that's where I'm going to stop. So you don't need to actually put it where your um, comments start to come in. I mean, that's not really necessary. Just stop where your opt-in button is and you're good to go. So I'm almost done. Sorry about that. A little long. Okay. Okay, so here I am. So this is where I'm going to stop at my opt-in button. But I want to make sure that I put... I, I do it all the way to where they can click subscribe and then I'll stop. Okay, so now I want to just go back up, look in, okay, so I can see that some of my sidebar is still creeping in. So I want to bring it up and over a little bit. Okay, and I can still see a little bit of the Google Plus. All right, so that looks good. Now I go back up. See, I can still see my sidebar, so you can still get that out. And all you want to do is just drag it over. And it's going to load again. Sorry about that. And then you just scroll up. Yep, I still see it. If you have a black background, um, I would suggest creating something on a white background, so that way it just kind of seamless and it looks good. Okay, so good. I'm done. So here we are. I'm just going to center it right here at the top. Now I want to get rid of this. I don't want to show the previous posts and this whole header part and with this banner and everything. So I can actually put a photo right on top of it so it actually looks like it's supposed to be there. So come back up here to the top and right here you want to take images and you want to just drag and just drop it there. And I already have um, an image that I want to use, so I'm just click choose file. And then I'm going to find exactly what I want to use. And there it is. So I'm going to use my timeline cover image. And you can, you know, give it any size. I'm just going to use the timeline cover size, 815 by 315, and just click apply. So don't worry about it being too big because you can resize it, um, but you don't want to have something where it's too stretched and you can't read it and it looks kind of weird. So I sized it that way because that's the original size of the photo anyway. And then just kind of like put it down. And I mean, you don't have to, you know, make sure that it's up to this line or this line. Just just enough where it covers in the middle a uh, majority of it. You kind of get the idea. Okay, so from here, look at everything. I'm done. You click Save App. Then I click Next. And I don't really care about the page gate stuff. I mean, the, uh, the skip light gate or any of that stuff. I just click Next because I'm done. And then you just click Publish. Okay, so now it's saving, so now it's done. So I'm going to go back to my Facebook page. And then I'm going to click this drop down. And there it is. And here we are. So give it a few seconds. It's going to load. And it's, everything looks seamless. I don't see anything. The header. It will show, um, you know, everything that's on the post as far as the Twitter account and whatnot. And the cool thing about this with iframes, you can actually, all these buttons right here are, are clickable. So you just click retweet and you can actually tweet from there. And the cool thing about that also for your opt-in button, you can come all the way down here at the bottom, type in your name, click subscribe, and you're done. And that's it. That's all you have to do to create your own welcome homepage. It's easy, it's quick, it's fast, and as usual, it's easy peasy. If you have any questions, please email me at, at info at and this is Sonia signing off.